previously on Unstable. Allie and I realized that our outdoor ring needed a lot of work. Look at this ring. You can't ride out there. It's like a five to $10,000 mess. No, it's not. But where are we gonna get the, that kind of money? The repairs cost so much money, I couldn't get Alex the horse she wanted. So do you like him, Al? Yeah. Oh, his price is 20. He's a little more money than I have. After disappointing Alex, Allie went behind my back and hired someone without telling me. I gave up something today that I've been promising for years to give my daughter for the outdoor ring. Why would you even think of hiring someone without discussing it with me first? After our fight, I had to straighten things out with Allie. I just want to, you know, be involved. Like, I mean, she's great. I know we needed someone. I just, I just, we need to work as a team. I know. I should have talked to you first, but I just figured that, you know, well, she took me off guards just showing up, and we ne really needed the help. And you know me, I'm just so impulsive, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't mean to say the stuff that I said. Me too. You know, maybe uh, we start you know, start talking to each other about everything first I think that's most that important. Like, anything that we do, any decisions that are made, especially when they consider money. Yeah. You know? So I don't want that to come between us, you know? Friends first, always. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Someone told me what you put in the life you take away So I won't stand around Cause life moves fast and it will So what's, what's going on? Well, Dan showed up in the middle of my work day and I was obviously working lunging a horse and he just like walks in. Isn't it whoa, possible? Whoa, whoa. Jeez. Jeez. What are you trying to do? Get yourself killed? I'm sorry. I forgive you. Can we have dinner tonight? I'm busy tonight. And then tomorrow night? I'm still here at the barn. He's just showing to be a little too needy, and it's kind of getting to me. I didn't mean to come off like this needy kind of guy, but... Well, you are. Can you just tell me one thing, though? I mean, do I mean anything to you? Well, I mean, I'm still getting to know you. Can't rush into these kind of things. Just like, give me some time to, you know, get there. I understand. But please, just give me the chance, all right? All right. I won't let you down. All right, pal. But you already <laughs> know that, baby, I'm a lucky man. And I'm a lucky man, it's true. And then you can drive the smaller trailer uh, to the show. So I'll go ahead with the horses, and then you can come behind me. So what horses are we going to take? Uh, I'm going to bring all the boys, Patton, Lino, Carmel and Cash. All four? Yeah, we'll put them on the big trailer. And then uh, I thought that we'd load up my small trailer with all the supplies and trunks. So I heard through the grapevine that Katie's gonna be at this horse show. Do I know her? She's on my university team. Mm -hmm. We went to Japan together and she just absolutely sabotaged me. My dressage was huge for me in Japan and we had to do a team test, was the first test to pass round one. and. She unfortunately insisted on being lead rider, and she goes off course. How do you she go might. off course? Oh, I guess because yeah, well, you have a, a set test. Yeah, right? like the first test was like a group test. I'm like, you were just doing this on purpose because you were jealous that I had a really good freestyle and that you knew I was going to do well. It's like always been like this rival between her and I. It's like she's jealous or something, and I have no idea why. She could look at you and say, I hate you, and she's like, hi, I hate you. You know, or like, uh, so good she, luck today. Which horse would she be against? Last time I talked to her, she was talking all high and mighty about this thoroughbred that she had, and she's going to kick my ass. So it's just so annoying, because it's so petty and just, ugh, I hate her. So the best thing you can do is what? I'm just going to kick her off. Don't, don't change. Don't tear yourself apart, because it's hard. Megan brought Dan by the farm for us to meet him. Hey guys. Hey. This guy's been talking about Dan. Oh my, hi. This is Allie. How are you? Tammy. Hi. 
Uh, yeah. I introduced Dan to Allie and Tammy, and I mean, they were actually kind of mean to him. What are you two up to? Just hanging out? Hanging out, huh? Yeah, you don't mind if he, you know, hangs out no. for a bit. No. Comes by, you know, brings me food. Hanging out, huh? Yeah. What do you mean by hanging out? Just hanging out. What, do you, what else would I mean? It's not something. a hotel here, right? Yeah, we already <laughs> have a pregnant mare in the barn. Allie was so mean. Like, I, it was borderline cruel. I feel really bad. Uh, Megan brings her boyfriend, Dan, to the barn and introduces us. And I, I was a little rude. You know what, it was more of a stab at Megan. I don't judge Allie and Tammy because Allie thinks she's Miss Perfect and Tammy wears clothes like she's in high school or something. Okay, wait, maybe I do. All right, have a good time. Nice meeting you. Right. Have See fun you. at your luau. Like, I didn't, know, I didn't even know what to say. All I could do was laugh. <laughs> what? Okay, so uh, we got to get things ready for the horse show. Got to start packing up. Um, I'm going to school him really quick. Why are you schooling him? Because I don't want to get bucked off when we get to the horse show. He's never been to this place before. It's He's gonna... fine. You know what? He's going to be fine now that I'm going to ride him. I haven't ridden him in a few days, okay? The we're last late. Couple days. I know we're late. Where is Courtney? I'm I like, don't know. I thought you talked to her. What time was she supposed to be here? Oh, uh, I thought you said about half an hour ago. So, I mean, if she's not here, we're going to have to go. I'm all for having borders. Definitely, yeah, we need borders. But this girl called, Courtney. She was supposed to be here in the morning. So I know it's nice to have a new client and everything, but you know, we can't wait. So I'm gonna ride and hopefully she'll show up by the time I'm done riding. What? What's the situation on How the How the hell do you think we afford for you to go out and ride four horses at every horse show? I pay for my show fees. What? Nothing. It just, it kills me that you think that it's just the show fees you have to pay to show, but it's not about the girls helping you tack up every day. It's not about the hay they eat every day or the grain they eat every day and all the other things. Hey, well, I go for my horses to be here. Horses to be able to show at the well, end I of the day. I paid my board. I pay for my horses to be here. Oh my God. Okay, we're late. Let's get this on the road. All right. Um, someone's here. Oh. Hi. Hey, how are you? Of course, she shows up five minutes before we're loading to leave for the horse show. Why don't you just door right there? Nice jackass. What? Who am I that's yelling at me? Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm Tammy. Courtney, nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, nice How's to it meet going? you. Good. Good. So nice. Sorry, we're just a little hectic. We're just getting ready for a horse show. And... Did I come in a bad time? No, no. It's fine. Sorry Get about used that. to it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just have to ride this guy. So if you want, why don't you just kind of come with me mm -hmm. and I'll sort of give you like a turbo tour while we're walking through the aisle and uh, I'll just show you the viewing room and show you where to go. Then come into the arena and then we can chat and I can multitask and ride and talk to you at the same sure. time. So Sounds if you have any plan. questions and whatever, yeah, we can go from there. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds right. like a plan. Yes. Yeah, so while she rides, we'll uh, load all the heavy trunks and everything. Oh, I'm the pro. You're the amateur. Come on. Come with me. Alrighty. Okay. It's a great spot you guys have here. Thank you. I, you know, I've come from a lot of different barns and everything and just wanted to have my own place where I can do my thing and implement my philosophy and riding technique. So when Courtney shows up, I basically gave her the rundown about how I like to run my barn. I don't really like having too, too many clients just because I don't want to feel like they're going to be lost in a number, you know, those big barns and there's way too many people. Uh, I do tend to like to ride my clients' horses as well yep. uh, in terms of programs and stuff just so I can have a feel for the horse yep. and then figure out what you're doing and what needs to improve and change. What, what does your horse do? Um, she's jumped some pretty big stuff in the past. She's got a ton of jump to her, and I'd like to see her reach that potential with me. Okay. Um, haven't had a horse that's been able to jump those kind of jumps in a while, so I really agree with all your training methods, and um, I think that flat work's absolutely key, and I mean, you, if you don't have the flat work, you don't have the jumps either, so. Exactly. Um, no, definitely, I, I think that it's gonna be great, and I think that we'll get along really well, and. Are you guys gonna like pack while I wrap, or are you guys gonna watch me do this? I was Thinking about watching you. <laughs> All right. Well, we have to wait for Allie now anyways. So, so Jenna, 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 Jenna. 
Dan said he has a friend that he wants to hook you up with. Really? Yeah. What's he like? I've talked to him on the phone before. He doesn't get out too much. I don't know, no, he doesn't really seem like my type of guy. But you don't know what he's like. Well, you just said he doesn't get out much, he stays at home. But he you have video to know the person. <laughs> kind of sounds like Dan, actually. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Dan. Don't be mean to Dan. No, I personally like the kind of the more chiseled guys. Tall, dark, and handsome is what I'm looking for. <laughs> Alex has a boyfriend. Oh. He's a year younger than her. Shh. <laughs> she likes the young ones. <laughs> who, do you, who do you want to wrap next? Do we have any fat horses? <laughs> Patton's pretty chubby. Yeah, I'll get Patton for you. All right, enough with you. this. Let's get, uh, get Patton out, get him wrapped. Oh, sorry. I hate you. You hate me? Yeah. I love you. Okay. These purple eyes are symptoms of me sleeping each night less and less. I just lay there facing up. Feels like I got Dan in this freaking trunk. Why am I carrying this? This is retarded. I signed the checks and do all the work. I had back surgery oh like two God. months ago. Oh my God! Yeah, I can't whatever. Carry the trunk. Carry the damn trunk already. Okay. Well, you can you can pay for me when I throw my Fine. back out and I can no longer no work problem. for the rest of my I'll get life. No problem. Get right on that. The attitude. Like, I don't work hard enough. Go get Allie. We're running behind. I'm just gonna grab that last. Yeah. Starting to build on courses and stuff after that, so. Allie? Yeah, uh, yeah. How long are you gonna be? I don't know, another 10 minutes? All right, can you wrap it up? Tammy's in a uh, mood. Oh, is she? Yeah. I'll just tell her to simmer down. I'll be out in 10 minutes. Just get the track, uh, the trunks loaded onto the trailer. I'll be out. Loaded. We're ready. All yeah. right. Just tell her to simmer down then. Move, dog. So I know it was a bit stressful the morning Courtney showed up here, but from my point of view, she's a potential client, and that's you know $800 a month in our pocket that we could potentially have, and that's $800 a month that doesn't have to come out of my pocket. <laughs> He's, she's gonna be like 10 minutes. What? She's not even done. Yeah. We have to go. I know we have to Can go. Can you please just tell her we have to leave now? I told her we have to leave. Fine, I will tell her now. Get the horses on the trailer now! It was actually really funny, uh, you know, in talking with Courtney, realizing that I'm actually really good friends with her now husband, and I was actually at her wedding. That's so funny. What a small world I that know. is. So you're the one that you got dipped in your chest fell out. You know, I think it's going to be really fun having her in the barn. She seems like she's a good character, and uh, I think she's going to bring a lot of laughs, so that's what we need. Oh, okay. my God, you, you saw even, that, yeah. too? Ow. Yeah, I sure did. What? Sorry, Courtney, but like, Oh yeah, no, 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 no worries, no worries We gotta at all. go. Yeah, I know that. Two minutes, give me a minute. We're just chatting. The dogs have more urgency than you. We're supposed to be at the horse show. Okay, I'm coming. Two minutes, all right? Like, relax. Courtney, I'm sorry, but we've been- oh, No, no, for sure. Um, if we're, if it's all good, then, then we'll definitely, uh, we'll touch base next week and I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, good luck at the call, horse show. Okay? Bye. Bye. You're supposed to be in the ring in 40 minutes. I'm trying to build a relationship with somebody. That's what you do when you do trying to get the clients the in. Show. You were the one that booked the appointment with her to come here. She right? was and, late. Yeah, well, then you have to account for that. Now I'm late because you booked an appointment with someone. Let's go. Fine. Whatever, hurry up. Let's go. You're still on a horse. I'm coming. Getting off now. We got to get the show on the road. She just doesn't seem to be focused on the horse showing and making a name of our, for our horses. It's All right, I'm sorry, I'm coming. I know you're ticked off, but like, we'll get there in time. It's no problem, okay? Well, get in the All truck, right. let's go. Just relax, calm down. All right, we gotta get Carmel ready for the meter 15. Let's go. We're going Man, down and go doing the, the course tack. walk soon. Yeah, we'll just start tacking them up and getting them ready, and then I'll do the course walk once I get down there with them. What? Saddle's not in here. What do you mean the saddle's not in there? No, I got it. I did not forget it. It's gotta be. Oh. How do you forget a saddle? How do you like a saddle? Like it's not a boot. It's not a saddle pad. It's not a she forgot a saddle. Meg, how can you forget a saddle? It's a saddle. 
I can't just go out and buy another saddle. It's not like a bridle. This thing is custom made for me. Are you serious? Like, where is it? I don't know. I, mean, I must have bought it at the barn. It's at the... Okay, stop going like this. Get in your car and go and get it. It's a custom made saddle. What am I supposed to do? Ride bareback? Oh my God. Go get changed. Oh my God. Go get changed. How do you forget a saddle? Go get changed. They're all complaining that we're late and you know, I'm supposed to be at the horse show to ride, but I have no saddle. So what difference does it make now? It'll be dealt with, okay? Go get changed. She's the barn manager. She loves her title. She tells everybody her title. She should have done the final checklist and she should have known if the saddle was in the trunk or not. And she didn't do that. I'm in the middle of the show. I'm like 20 minutes late. Well, Allie was riding. I'm sorry, I guess. Now I look like I'm incompetent as a manager. You can tell Allie it was my fault. I don't care. I gotta go. I don't really mind that she took the blame for it. Really, I don't like her all that much. Well, drive safe. Whenever you're around, it's the second time this week I miss the cab on Houston Street. God, hi. Hi. Uh, Tammy from Windigo. Oh, hey. Farms. Um, I don't have my passports, but the four horses are Kamal, Lino, Patton, and Cash. Uh, do you have a check with you? Yes. No. No. Okay. It's with the passports. It's with the passports. In the future, you need to be a lot more organized. I, know, I understand. Checks are not really a negotiable thing when it comes to picking up your entries. It's okay. kind of our only form of security. I mean, she was doing her job. Like, that's what she's supposed to do. She needs certain things to be able to register a horse, and I didn't have them. This time, oh I can gosh. give you your numbers. Okay. Okay, in the future, you. have your checks and passports when you check in, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Like, we're being called, so we gotta go. Like, well, I'm here now. Yeah, we can get I know going. That, but we have to tack the horse up. We gotta get everything ready. I'm sorry I'm late, but I was up all night with the mayor. And I tried really hard to get here as fast as I possibly could. I know, but how can you forget a saddle? I'm your, like, biggest supporter. How the frick do you forget a saddle? I don't know. This is stressing me out, and I don't need this before a class. And my button's not doing up. It's fine. It's all fine. It's going to be fine. So it's kind of funny how my rival is talking trash to my face, saying how much I suck and that I don't stand a chance. I have no business being at this horse show, yada, yada. So, hey, Katie, you actually think you're going to make the speed phase of this round? Yeah. I want my freaking fast thoroughbred. You're going to kick oh your butt. Oh, my God. You have a thoroughbred in this class. Are you kidding me? Did you not check well, the height? Or your big tank moose horse. Whatever, moose horse. My horse got more power than your horse. All I can say is that she's extremely annoying. She completely sabotaged my dressage round in Japan. You know, I don't know if she did it on purpose or not, but she's, you know, has this bit of a jealousy thing for me. Did you see Katie cut you off in the ring? Yeah, I wasn't too happy about that. I was just like, are you serious? Yeah. Don't you see I'm getting ready for a class and you're just farting around in your thoroughbred? <laughs> You know, before I go in the ring, she's riding around in the warm-up ring, trying to cut me off and saying how she's going to win and she owns this class. Well, she crashes and burns. And Katie, like, I think it was, I think she knocked down the first fence or maybe the second, I'm not sure. Yeah. Now in the ring, we have entry number 245, Reno, owned by Ottawa Southway In-Group. And written by Allison Ali was on her game and she came out of the ring and I don't know what instigated it or what started it, but they were like totally going at it. Who taught you how to ride? Who taught me how to ride? Who taught you how to ride? the best. I must have misread it or Katie's horse must have been off because, I mean, Allie really kicked her ass. Whatever, enjoy your loser horse. Oh, you didn't win. Huh, I didn't lose, like you. Just got the bill. 
$2,300. What for? Show fees, man. It's four stalls, four horses. Why are we ordering hay and shavings from here? Because it's here. We have it at home. Why am I paying we for it? We have baled hay at home. We yeah, we do. small bales. Yes, we do. Yeah. Since we when? We got them like the day before we left. Well, okay, so the day before we leave, well, I had to do these entry fees okay, two weeks shavings? before. Shavings? We don't have bag shavings, we have bulk shavings. Yeah, we do. We have bag shavings. Where are the bag shavings? You oh, walk by the past grain. them every day. You think that I sit there and go, oh, look at the nice bales of shavings. Well, no. if you asked us before you ordered it two weeks ago, we could have at least cut down. Allison, stalls are 175 a week. Yeah. I know. I can't, we can't just go in classes whenever we feel like it because we are and then hand me a bill and I'm supposed to make this money come out of my ass. Like, I can't do this. Like, we just gotta start talking more, okay? Like, and we need to sit down and do the entries together and this is what we go in. If a horse is being bad, then we discuss it because it's like, then I don't get surprise bills at the end of it for 700 bucks, okay? You know, given the time factor and the convenience, you know, it, it, was, it just basically saved in the long run, you know, and she's tearing a strip off of me. I love Tammy to death, you know, she's a great person, she has a huge heart, and uh, I just really think that I need to get her on the same page as me. It's almost like when people don't spend their own money, they don't really care. Things cost money, showing costs money, that's why you have to only show your winners so you can actually make some money back. I wouldn't be surprised if she freaked out because I bought a $3 lemonade. She should just chill out and let me deal with certain things because she might call herself the business manager, but she's got some things to learn. Next time on Unstable. What's happening? Colicking and she needs to be sewed up. Where's your truck? Flat tire.